Welcome back as we head into the summer months. Now is a great time to remind everyone that you should be keeping a close eye on your dogs as temperatures start to climb here. And so we wanted to give you some great advice on how to do that. Joining us live with some tips, we've got uh, Kavi Patel from Camp Bow Wow in Fort Mill. So Kavi, thanks so much for joining us. And we wanted to just jump right in here with these questions. So Camp Bow Wow we know is a doggy daycare and boarding. So y'all do a lot with dogs every single day. What are some of the Every main day. <laughs> not a bad gig at all. I, I love that. It's not. What are some of the things that y'all are looking out for as far as animal safety during the summer with the pets that you watch? So exercising with caution, you know, our pets need exercise to maintain their overall health. Even when it's hot around this time, it's especially important to take extra caution with those dogs that are older, overweight, have thicker coats, um, even those with shorter snouts. If you are going for a run, going to the park, whatever it may be, it would be best to do so earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon when temperatures are cooling down. So I have two dogs at home. Um, one thing I'm always trying to pay attention to is their, their paws, their pads, you know, when the asphalt mm -hmm. starts to get hot. Do you have any, you know, tips that you could pass along to owners to, you know, this is how you check whether the cement or whatnot is too hot? to walk your dog on it. If you can't put your bare skin on the asphalt for more than 10 seconds, it's likely too hot for your dog as well. Okay, that is good to know. What about any just signs of general heat exhaustion in dogs? Um, anything else to keep an eye out for as far as their behavior or just physical symptoms? So dogs can develop heat stroke pretty quickly. Um, some of those signs to look out for include rapid heartbeat, excessive panting, vomiting, collapsing, and even refusing to obey or listen to your commands. If someone suspects their dog is experiencing a heat stroke, they can actually try to lower the body temperature by applying towels soaked in cool water to the hairless areas of the body. Okay, what about ice cubes? Do you have any feeling for or against giving them ice cubes during that time if they're extremely hot? Ice cubes are always a good idea. Um, my dog personally thinks they're treats, so he has no problem <laughs> stuffing his mouth with them or playing with them. But it's definitely a good way to, you know, lower their body temperature as well. Okay, so you've given some great tips so far. Anything else you'd like to leave us with before we let you go about making sure those pets are being safe during these summer months? Um, sunscreen, for example, just like us, um, cats and dogs can get sunburned, especially if they have lighter colored fur. Oh, wow. Their sunburns look pretty similar to ours, dryness, redness, peeling. Um, pet friendly sunscreen is a real thing and making that purchase can go a long way in protecting their health this summer. Some of those areas that are easy to overlook but are prone to burning include the nose, the mouth, um, inside the ears, especially those ears that stand up. Mm -hmm. And it is super important to provide your dog with extra water in the summer heat when they're especially thirsty or even just a little curious they're likely to drink something that they probably shouldn't you know a random puddle for example when you are providing water though you want to be sure not to leave it out for too long because just like those puddles bacteria can grow pretty quickly even at room temperature all right some great advice and i learned something new today i didn't know about doggy sunscreen so kavi patel <laughs> thank you so much for joining us once again from camp bow wow thank you for having me all right have a great weekend